What's up, everybody? This is Frost, and I'm back playing more High Descent. Um, today, I'll be playing Wiltshire Season 144, Day Number 6. Uh, just about to wrap up the first week of the season here. and uh, going to be a little interesting today. I always say that, but uh, it's because HD is an interesting game. Um, but specifically today, I am challenged with ranking up with two defensive mercenaries. And, uh, you know, definitely doable. But uh, it's going to take some navigation. So, you know, today I'll be doing that, showing you how I go about uh, winning my battles with two defensive mercs and uh, transitioning into a, a full four merc setup that I'm going to use basically until by level 20. So just to recap, I've got uh, 855 nobility points so far this season. I need 1052 to rank up. So just 197. It should be about five battles. As you can see, people are worth about 40 right now. I'm not super high placed myself. I'm not a super high target, but 41. My fifth attack, I should get the uh, next level up and be able to expand my army. So 1,800 salary, again, by level 9. Two mercenaries for now. And uh, yeah, so just to kind of go through my setup here, actually, I'll just look at my own spy. Pretty far down, 42nd place. So I'm starting off the day with a level 4 strongman and a level 2 cavalier. Both of them are defensively uh, built. Agility, uh, HP, defense, etc. So um, I'm going to really need to pick on weak, um, attack melee, other baby level 9 setups as well. Those are going to be the kind of targets that I look at. Maybe there are some people who are placed high who have weak mercenaries. I have actually had the chance to spy today. I was helping uh, another alliance member of mine go through, uh, you know, generating an attack list. And so we uh, spied everybody and put everything together. So I do kind of know what's out there. Um, so yeah, so let's get started with the attacks themselves. I, again, don't want to pit unless I need to pit. and. Um, like in this case here, I could pit my Cavalier, get him level 3, and really get him going. But I want to hold off and see if I can win without doing that. So again, I've, I've already spied, so I do know there's a target in mind. And it'll probably be this guy here, Eman Elbon. Um, he's ranked 30th, but he's got a level 11 Beadsman with 118 damage, 29 accuracy. Um... My strongman's got 111 defense and 44 agility, so that matches up favorably. There's still an outside chance that my strongman does attack and get countered, but um, I think I'm a lot less likely to have that happen. So what I need to do here is just make sure that I've got uh, my mercs equipped to deal with the 84 defense and 26 agility. Um, I think. If I take off the heavy armor on the um, mounted, I should be able to recoup some accuracy. So I'm going to do that actually right now. I'm going to unequip that. That. And this is sort of the maneuverability in HD that I like. Just being able to, you know, equip different types of things to mercenaries to suit different needs and purposes. It's kind of cool. So I'm just going to strip it naked actually. Um, just take a look here. So it's got 60 damage, 24 accuracy, 40 agility. So I was looking at Iman Elban, and I think I just need to make sure I've got enough accuracy to cover that uh, agility. I don't want to get countered. I really need that uh, cav to survive. I want to start using level 3 swords. Um, 84, 26. So I want to beat 26, so I'm at least not... And hopefully this guy just gets countered outright by my strongman. But uh, and maybe I'm just overthinking this one. But just want to be sure, you know. Yeah. Gonna put me. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I have the gold. I'm gonna do that. And. Yeah, 78 damage and 27 accuracy. So I don't think I'll get countered. I also have the bonus against uh, melee too, which works in my favor. And then just from an armor standpoint, 
am going to put some stuff on my um on my strongman. So I'll put three on my legs because I'm gonna be replacing that furthest into the future. I will be replacing it today most likely, but I want to get as much utility out of those enhancements as possible. Uh, I think I'm sitting at 115, 114. So I should be able to counter um, that Beadsman. Maybe could add a little bit more defense, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. So I should check if they're available on Retaliation. Might be, actually. Uh, let's see here. Yep. So let's just give this a go here. So there we go. We got the counter, too short, countered. And uh, yeah, see, so I actually did get countered by the Beadsman for 95 damage, but the HP really helped. I have 86 left, so that's great. Want some more HP here. And uh, of course, agility. It's just a matter of how much. I'm going to go 4 HP, actually. I really want to focus on survivability. This is probably going to be the guy driving my wins right now. Um, I'm going to pick up level 3 sword. Huh. I actually don't really need the damage. Save 200 gold. 170 gold. All right. So now I'm going to throw on sword. For my mount, so 86, 29 accuracy. And then I'm going to also put some, probably some cloth on him as well, just to get his defense up. Get rid of this sword, this sword. Keep the axe for now. Probably will have to sell that as well. Replace it with a level 4 axe. Um, Perhaps, or 7 axe, we'll see. All right, so we need 11 to level up here. Um, 1444 is looking good. Level 5 will be a nice little jump for it as well. And then I am two attacks away probably from leveling this guy. So I really need targets that will not counter this. But let me put some cloth on the mounted high defense shield in this case because I already have agility applied. Arm, leg, shield, body, the head. I really do think that um, we we're having a conversation about this actually, the development side of things, but doing more with these middle classes of armor would be really cool, right? So we have the cloth, which is great because it doesn't take any uh, stats off. We have the heavy stuff, which takes stats off, but gives you lots of defense. I think it'd be really cool to like have this maybe be make you more accurate, or more everyone makes you faster. And I think that would allow for more custom um, customization of mercenaries. So um, let's do some more attacks. I've been talking too much. <laughs> um, timber. I attacked timber yesterday. Let's see, ninety. 835, but they've got a really strong squire. That's not going to cut it. Um, that could be trouble. I have high enough defense, I think, to withstand that. What do I have? A 68. Um, let's see. Atlantic. They've got a rebel with really, really high accuracy. So even with the the, the bonus, they would be doing about 73 accuracy to my, I guess it would be 45 agility. Still could be um, critted, so I have to be careful with that. Though my mount could probably kill this. Let's see, what else? Um, I think four shard actually has new stuff, yeah. But eighty-eight defense, twenty-four agility. And it just this would just be a counter war, and I don't really have the HP that I want to have yet to ensure survivability. That's the number one thing, right? Um, I think who else has? 
Scotty Dog had a beadsman before. 91, 130. Squire, Squire, Squire. Jeez. Um, so I could kill these, but then I'm probably going to get my mounted counter. I could probably counter this, but I've only got five speed myself. Hmm. We'll wait on that one. Um, I don't want to go too low either, though, even if it's only a point or two. What about Sir Noble? All right. Uh, level one Cav, level two Strongman. So another situation where... Hmm, another counter war. My HP at here. Maybe I do pit a little bit. Get some HP. Get the level five body. That'll give me plus 12 defense. And also enhance, actually, too, which would be great. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm actually going to pit my uh, strong man right now. I think it's too short. That's a strong man, right? And uh, I always kill the elephant. No reason, just for fun. Um, all right, level five. Let's see if there's anything in the merchant, actually. Body, cloth doublet, cloth vest. No, we don't have it heavy in the merchant yet. Uh, we'll put that on there. That's going to get my defense up as well. And I'm going to put some HP on it. This is not the ratio I typically would apply um, my points, but because of survivability, I'm, I'm really just prioritizing HP up front and catch up in the other stats later as my setup develops. So 126 defense, 43 agility. That's looking okay. I'm going to put four enhancements on this, actually. We'll bring it to 130. Uh, oh. Salary, guys. <laughs> It's good stuff. Um, okay, what was I doing? So we're looking at Atlantic before. Still, I mean, could probably win that, but could still get crit by this thing. That's that's the thing. I could have put some agility on to help. Mm. I, could, I could pit this again, get this to level six even, and then throw. Some agility, but would it really make a difference if I have 50 agility? Hmm. 385 HP, though, I should be able to last a while. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because I'm not gonna pit anything that I buy today anyway. It's gonna continue to be the strong man getting pitted, so I might lose a little bit of points, but I can just make my attacks easier. It's Extremely helpful. So there we go. Level six. I'm going to go on agility here. I can buy my defense again. That's why we have salary, right? So um, just see again if there's anything level six. Uh, heavy off goes fan braces. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one for level six. So I got this off the merchant, which saves a little bit of gold. And put that on. Too short there. Sell my armor. And um, 140, 47. Okay. Put some enhancements on there too. So now it's now it's flowing really well. Um, what is it 100 and, 144, 47 agility, 43. So I feel better about attacking somebody like Atlantic now. Um, Still risky, you could still get critted and die, but I do think I can take him. I just want to make sure my mount is equipped properly before I do anything. 86 with 29 accuracy. Um, yeah, 9 accuracy versus 31 agility. Plus, I have the advantage. Is he on retail? Let's forget to check that. And not Achilles, but actually, since I'm here, let's see what he's got. He's got an arb and he's got a lasher, so that's not going to be good for me. He's going to whip that uh, axe. I think I did attack Atlantic yesterday, so I'll just check it through there. There is retaliation. Great. All right. So it looks like, okay, I got countered. It's not good. Um, <laughs> so much for survivability. So. Yeah, I wasn't really able to do what I thought I was going to do there. It was probably a miscalculation on my part. 
we could have used some more damage. Maybe that uh, extra five enhancement would have would have helped. Um, disappointing to lose my mount. I, that's really what I wanted to level up. But strongman took care of business at least. So um, gotta be careful when I evaluate here. What did I say? Timber has again. So Timber has the really strong squire that I can't get yet. Um, Chicken eater's got an Amazon and he's got a strong squire. A lot of HP, a lot of speed. He did say he likes fast, healthy mercs when we uh, discussed strategy. Um, yeah, none of these targets. I mean, what does Cloak and Dagger have? A Trog, Squire, that's not going to work. Um, let's see. It's now a time to pay. Or shard a visit? No, I don't think so. Like I could probably get through that, but I'm going to get. If I got countered by something, yeah, I'm gonna get countered by this. Like my calves not survive that. I could probably win this battle with the HP advantage counter damage. Um, I'm slower. I could counter both of these and win, but a bit risky in terms of surviving. Maltese Falcon. Let's see here. It's got a faster calf. It's got a trog, that's not gonna work. Damn. Let's go lower than I want. Uh Cheech has an Amazon and yeah, Squire. A lot of people are doing that with the Squires, keeping the strong mount. Um Scotty Dog. Okay, so can my mount survive this? I think so. And, but it will get countered. I'm just wondering if this would get countered before. Hmm. 385 HP too. What does he have? 188. So I've got like double the HP. Got more damage. Like I could win this no matter what. I just don't know if I'm going to survive. Like ideally, I would counter his melee and then I would defeat his mounted and I would get the level up. But. And these are the, like the hardest days for me in any sort of season. All right, so Cavalier did its job, probably perfect. That's what I was hoping would happen. The counter happened, and I stayed alive still. The extra HP paid off right there. Um, <laughs> one point from level four. Just need to get to two more wins. That's what I need right now. Two more wins. And then I'll have my setup with my bow and my second melee that I'll be adding. It's just a grind to get there. Um, what does Lance have? He's got a villain and he's got a cav. A cav's going to counter me for sure. And then I could probably counter this villain. But my calf's gonna lose to that calf. Renegade Monk has a knife man, actually. Let's see. Ah, oh, but this could be like 150 is a lot. 54. Like I could I could counter that. And I would hope to eventually kill the bow. I just worry about like some stalemate or something nonsense like that. 86, 29, like I don't know. Just going to enhance my damage and give it a shot. Enhancing weapons on a um, counter mounted that's equipping a sword. This is just madness. But that's what this day of HD is. I think I'm going to check retail for this. Renegade Monk. Let's give it a shot. There we go. So, yep, the counter happened and then. My strongman actually took out the short bow. I didn't think of that. One more. So we allocate here. Um, let's just see what some of these guys are doing. Some of these mounted. I want to feast on these guys once uh, my setup is put together. 53 agility. Uh, sorry, accuracy. I'll do 
a level of agility. It gets me to 50. Hmm. Yeah. Level 4. There we go. So 68 defense, 50 agility. Need one more target here to get me over. Or I didn't count up. I checked that, right? Level 7 squire. Level 3 villain. This one's interesting. I win this battle no matter what. Um, I can counter both of these with my strongman, but I'm just wondering if my if my cavalier can survive long enough to to beat this and and um, get points. Let's see. I'm gonna give it a shot. That worked out nicely. 41 points, ranked up, new level message. Um, Cavalier reg hit the squire, and then the Cavalier also took out the villain. So the villain lasted actually quite a while. I thought it would get countered. Level 7 strongman. Wow, okay, that's great. And I ranked up, so let's do this here. So first things first, let's get to max mercenaries. So um, one of the recent changes was that if you apply one point to mercenary slots, you get two slots instead of one which is really, really nice. And then I'm going to go by level 10. And then that just puts me in line to hit by level 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20, where I can swap all my mercs out, no problem. And I think like allocation point management is something I should probably talk about in like another video, or like maybe we do a little one-on-one -on -one chat with someone about it, but just sort of understanding like how your allocation points come together. I kind of liken it to a puzzle. Like, okay, if I need to get, um, you know, by level 20 with four mercs, a salary point, I need to make sure that my buy level is an even number. Because otherwise, like, I'm going to go, you know, 15, 17, 19. I might not make it one day and miss by level 20 transition. Or um, it's just, I don't like it. It's not smooth. It's not the best way to transition through, in my opinion. So. Uh, let me just replace the armor on this. Um, see if we have anything in a uh, merchant first. Possible. Yep, we've got the greaves here. They're naked, but that's fine. I can still save a little bit of gold. And then there was a shield upgrade at level 7 as well. So leather small. That's got some enhancements on it, which is wonderful. I'll scoop that up and whip to a strongman. Don't need the small axe now for sure, but I'll probably, uh, I might just keep it. We'll see. 149, 47.8. Okay. Now we're talking a bit here. So I'm going to round this up to 10. And it's probably a little unnecessary to be honest, but that's okay. And uh, the agility. I'm going to do some defense. So now we're at 155 defense, 47 agility, 3 speed, which is great. Um, ID. Okay, cool. So I've ranked up. I'm going to sell my armor. Because, actually, I'm not going to sell it yet. Hold on. I might be able to use these for my mounted if I transition. Um, let me sell this sword. I'm going to sell the axe. Screw it. And I want to pick up two more mercenaries right now. So let's grab a, an arbalist. I think that's a necessity at buy level nine. And uh, it's 892 gold as well. Name them after West Coast rappers. These are Warren G. And uh, Amazon. Thinking about going the, with the Amazon here. So I'll actually need to sell some more stuff in order to do it. Or Joust. That's another thing I could try. 
I'm actually a little short on gold because I've over enhanced. Um, you know what? Since I'm recording, let's have fun with it. Let's see if Avalon can break through here. Uh, there we go, Avalon. You know what? Avalon. Looking for a specific matchup here. Specific configuration. Ah, yes, Colchester. All right, Azrael, let's see which one of our guys uh, is best. I'm going 410. Colchester's the favorite. Oh. Not a conclusive result. I started with 778. I finished with 778. Um, so I'll do, need to sell some stuff in order to afford another mercenary with this configuration. Um, I really didn't want to sell the armor, man. Really wanted to use it on my mount. That might not even do it. Two, uh, what's that? 254, 254 plus 778. I might do it. 778 plus 254 is 1032. If I wanted an Amazon, uh, an Amazon is it's annoying how this thing blocks. Okay. Um, 1092. So I'm still a little short. Strongman's 1082, if I were to double Strongman it. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking about getting an Amazon is because this is the time of game where people are still running um, defensive, sorry, offensive whips. And if I go like all in on the, the axes, they're going to be susceptible to Whitman. So if I'm able to run two different melee types, uh, one that can take care of the knives and one that can take care of the whips, then I, I think I'll be in pretty good shape. So it's just a matter now of figuring out how to get this 92 gold. If I were to sell my armor, which I, I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, so I need to get about 60 gold. And I did my pits already, right? So I can get a little bit from that gladiator pit. But it's not going to be enough. And I need to do this before our alliance battle. Um, because I need to get that fourth mercenary in the battle. So six gold. <laughs> That's not going to do it. All right, cool. That's no problem. You'll figure this out. Um, I could sell the cloths. It might hurt my survivability, but um need them on this guy specifically. Because my ARB can't win anything as of right now. 60, 28. Yeah, it's not going to really kill anything. So I'm going to put some damage on it though, off the jump. I like going heavy damage to start typically. Or three to one. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out how to get some gold here. So what do I need? Like ten ninety two or something, right? Oi, ten ninety two and thirty eight, so fifty four gold. Fifty four gold. Damn. Okay. And buy this for 38 and sell that for 123. Basically selling my enhancements off, but it uh it would ensure that oh hold on. That's the old shield that's on. Right? This actually might work out after all. Alright. Um this is just a straight replace. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Sell armor. 123. Goodbye. Normally like to have saved that, but now we're talking. Okay, cool. So I'm going to pick up the Amazon now. And um, yeah, just. Hmm. What do I really want to call it? Do Master P. Do uh, we'll just do, do a Dr. Dre thing. 
All right, so we've got Wall Wall and Fender. So I am going to just reconfigure the names of this actually. Oops, ready? That's double spaced. This spaced. Fun fact if you put um, spaces before the name, you can actually, it won't be visible, but it'll sort your mercenaries in the order you like to see them. So I like to look at my mercenaries as wall, wall, bow, and then backdoor, because that's sort of how my mind thinks. So I want this to be before this. And since W is after E, um, the only way to get this to be before that is by putting a space before it. So space before Warren G, and now Warren G's here. So now I visualize my setup front, middle of the sandwich and the back door. Just little fun quirks of uh, HD gameplay that uh, I think are interesting. Um, don't want to focus on HP survivability, probably. You know what? I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go all HP for the first level. Now I'm kind of broke. I, I don't really have any gold right now, but without salary, I wouldn't be able to even get as far as I have. So. This is really good. Um, just needed to wait now on my alliance battle, and then I will come back and finish the last four attacks and um, any allocations or, or you know other considerations I need to make. So anyway, um, I'll be back in a few hours. You probably won't even notice a difference. See you then. Hey, yeah, I'm back sooner than I thought. I think I can actually finish this off. I was just uh, spying around a little bit afterwards, and uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I uh, was looking at Grim Reaper as an option. Now I'm really afraid of what's going to happen to my uh, Amazon. It'll probably die, but might not. I'm going to take a chance. 209 HP. Yeah, I'm going to give this guy a shot here. Ah, oh, crap. I lost my... Yeah, there's the counter. Not smart move. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I got this guy to level five, which is great. Um, and yeah, being broke sucks now, man. This is I'm like the rest of you now. <laughs> oh man, um, that was not smart. It came back on just to waste a. An attack. All right. Um, agility. Yeah, I think that's the move here. To the uh, HP. Damn, that was really really stupid. <laughs> oh man. Um, still gonna give it a shot here. Um, elation. Let's see here. Uh, 90, 29, 85, 17. 85, 17 bodes well. Got the agility there. 90 and 29 with HP as well. And nothing to sell. Damn. Um, any of them a shot? Got a counter on Amazon, and yeah, this is not working out very well at all. I should have waited. Should have waited, or at least equipped. Um, at least we have a little bit of gold, though. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have patience. But we march forward anyway. Strongman probably counters me. Marta, what do you see? Uh, longbow. Got a brave. Yeah, it's not going to work. Match up at all. Donut. You have a squire, so scout. Yeah, that's right. Scout. And. I 
break through this, I get countered by this. So that's totally going to happen. Ahem. Anka. Wire. Strongman's going to counter me too. Oh dear. <laughs> None of these work. Hmm. I think I did this one too. This would counter me too. Well, I could counter it. Hmm. That's going to kill my... My Merc though. Six men. You have 112 defense on the Squire. It's a lot. I could cover this defense off. I would feel good about this attack, actually. Um, let's see. If I were to go and sell this, 240 gets me up to 312 gold, which is a level 4 axe cost from the merchant. Is there one? Damn it, there's not one. Still work though. Let's see. If I were to put 222, and then I could replace this as three. Mm. Sell the cloths, get as much heavy armor as possible. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch over. I think I'm going to try and. How many attacks do I have left? I've got two. Hmm. If I convert him to a defensive mounted now. And just try and rely on my arb to get through, even naked. I, I should be able to take out some of these melee. So who was I looking at again? I was looking at it was Timber. Right? A timber, Sticksman, Registry, Timber, Retail is available. So this should get countered by my melee. I don't think I'll be as much in danger because the rogues are stronger against the Sticksman. Squire, though, um, I get to 112 defense. So I've got the agility to cover off, and I've got good HP. It's going to be a battle, but I think I can do... Well, I don't know if I can do it, but I kind of want to try. So we're going to try. Jousted, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. The weapons. Oh, it's enhanced. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it came back to bite me in the ass, didn't it? Um, just do it like this. So I want the axe on here. We want this defense. I don't think I can afford all. Hey, nope, not yet. Probably not at all. But converting this to a death mount. Now I'm at 88, 51 agility. How much gold can I muster up? I can probably do this. Let me just unequip. Unequip. And unequip. Using defensive mercenaries as winning conditions is just a real pain in the ass. Um, and not recommended if you're not experienced in the game. A 52. So what's the most defense I can buy? It's the helm at 38. 52, right? We said? Still not going to get me what I need. Mm. To just see 14 gold. There's some serious micromanagement here. Yeah, I'm not going to not going to do it. Hey, 50 agility, 92 defense, a lot of HP though. <laughs> Maybe I still try anyway. Maybe I can hold them off long enough. Oh man. If I go buy some arms right now, buy some arms or hold on. Do I have any legs on it? I don't even have any legs on it. I can't even afford legs, which would slow me down because I'm making myself more likely to get countered. But I get some arms. It's ridiculous. I think it was 14, right? Yeah, we're going to give that a try. I'm using one of the middle classes. This is desperate times here. Zero gold, 98 def. I mean, 98, 49. What did his mount have? 
That might be a little too dangerous. Oh, this is somebody different, Atlantic. Oh, it's gonna destroy my um my my rogue. Who was I looking at again? It was oh Timber, that's it. Same alliance. I just knew it was 112 and 44. Man, that's gonna attack. That's gonna break through. But can I uh, but then like I can win no matter what, but I can lose everything. Except the strong man, which would just be a ridiculous way to end the day. What am I hoping for here? I'm hoping that what? I'm going to counter this? I'm probably not going to counter it. It's got a lot of damage and the accuracy is in the neighborhood to do damage. So um, this is where it's like micro HD, you know? I don't have a single piece of gold to even do anything with. Um, damn. Keep looking for targets. Um, could I attack somebody with like a 90 damage, 40 accuracy? Yeah, I could, I could probably do that depending on what their melee situation or archer situation looks like. Um, forgot about that. Let's take a look at some of those options. So you've got the but man, I always forget. Uh, the Maltese, what do you guys have? 107.53, and you've got the strong melee. You need someone with like an archer or something as a defender. Hmm. Not going to work. Who did you have again? You have a trog, that's right. That's not gonna work either. You're too low. Even for this stage of the season. I say Tonka again. This is this is one. But like I'm probably still gonna get countered. I would win this battle for sure, but um Is this the one? This is the same deal. I'm probably going to get countered. Maybe I counter him to death first, but I could see myself like dying here. Oh, survivability is really not fun this stage. Um, Anka, we looked at, right? We got Sir Noble, Four Shard, we looked at like a couple times. Um, yeah, like. I probably win this, but then this 34 agility is going to counter my 31 accuracy with low damage too. Um, and it's not really a lot of good choices. I mean, this is a little too strong for me. 109 versus my 98 defense. I can't do that either. And his Amazon's already got 300 HP. Damn it. All right. I don't think you guys want to sit, sit, sit here and see me agonize over who to attack. Um, damn. I don't like any of these options, really, for my, at least for my Amazon. Tomorrow will be different. I'll have a shit ton of gold, and I can put a lot into it. And it won't be a problem. But... Uh, Today it's just a little tough, and I'd like to get it to like level three, level four if I can. It's not like the end of the world; I can still rebound, and I'll be okay. I have some of these easier targets to attack. Hopefully tomorrow, like this guy. But the elation took care of our villain, so this is gonna kill for sure. Hi, Russian demons. You probably yeah, no, I know what you build typically early in the. Not gonna work either. Tonka, let's look again at Tonka. So this is a counter, I think, and then eighty-seven, eighty-two. That's gonna it's gonna be a counter war with the um, melees. I'll probably lose this. Hmm. 
I'm gonna lose my brave again. There it goes. Ah, uh, all right. At least I'm level three now. This bow. And this is the archery range here now. Uh, should have waited till after the alliance battle for that too, but I'm gonna try and level it up as well. See if I can get some damage to scrape above a hundred or close to a hundred as possible. Um, what's the three? That's three deaths already. Like this has not been a good day for me at all. I've not been very patient. Hmm. Right, so we're above 100 damage with enough accuracy to do something. It's just, how do I get this thing to survive when it has nothing on it? Tough, tough question. These guys are going to have strong things because they're high attack targets. Um... Yeah, man. Well, I've got 20 gold now, so maybe I can put something else on my mount. 20. What can I get for 20 gold? Leg? I can't get a leg. 57 for that. Anything in here? Damn. Would have been nice to win some gold in the jousting today. If I had even just won like 100 gold, I would have been in really good shape. Um, I would have... Hence this, and I could have attacked different kinds of targets. And tomorrow, I'm going to have to really target my list, um, or sorry, cater my list to dealing with people who have beadsmen still, so I can get that brave, or sorry, the Amazon to level up. But uh, it's so tough, man. Tomorrow will be much easier. Today is just really, really. Um, this is a real grind. Oh, man. Like, if I do these, it's going to just be the same deal. I'm going to get countered. I'm going to die. It's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep clicking around and looking and hoping that something's going to just pop out for me. But, uh... I could try going lower, but even that, like that trog is strong. 50 agility. I don't want any part of that. <sighs> what do you have? Yeah, that doesn't look very good either. Um, like this is just way too low. That's like yesterday's points. I want to do that. I'm not even attacking high right now, but I just, I can't go any lower. Can't do that. Please. That's lot. Not going to work either. Hmm. We did this already, right? Could I buy something for the Amazon to survive? Like, will one piece matter on it? 38, I can't even get it. Arm. What can I get for 20 gold? 21 gold. <laughs> even that would have been nice if I could have got... Oh, dear. Okay. Um. I, I could do that, but then... I don't know how much difference eight would make. Eight gets me up to 60. It's not. This is a win. It's just. Like, can my bow kill first? Maybe that's possible. But I'm going to like, I'm going to lose my friggin rogue. I guess that. I already attacked him anyway. So it's... all of that was. 
for nothing. It was this that I was considering. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. I could get backdoored here. I would counter this, and then I would counter that, and I'd still win. So it's, I don't think it's a loss at all. A lot of HP, man. I'd be able to last it through it. I waited for the alliance battle. I really could just get this done, but I have plans later today, so. This is really, a, really a dumb, dumb decision, but I, I'm going to do it anyway. This is uh, par for the course today. Right. Wow, that's a weird one. <laughs> Finally, my Amazon survives by the skin of its teeth. And I did get uh, beat, but not backdoored. As you can see here, the ARB has 27 HP left. Wow. This was just, <laughs> what a wild day. Um, now I've got gold, of course, right? That's how it always works. So I've got 42 gold. I can probably throw something on um, my, I'll throw it on my death mount, or actually maybe my, um, maybe my melee. Let's just uh, put a body on it. Hopefully it can survive the Alliance battle. We can allocate some more points to it, get some more HP on that, get some ability on that. And, uh, Anyway, what a day. Um, just to recap, I was able to rank up and add four mercenaries and got my strongman in a pretty good position. Got my death mount in a decent spot too. Was able to pick up a bow and a new melee, which I really struggled to level because I was not patient with my attacks today. In hindsight, like if I were doing this properly, I should have waited till my alliance battle happened. Allocated more points to HP on the Amazon. And then giving some of those other targets a try. I still might have had issues. I, I really I could have gone low. Um, and it really it was only a matter of like 10, 15 nobility points at the end of the day. That that probably was a better decision, but uh didn't feel like doing it. Sometimes like that happens in HD. Sometimes that can cost you. Uh, I don't think this will cost me at all. I think I can easily rebound tomorrow because I am getting two thousand gold in my wallet at midnight. So I'll be able to equip this, equip this, get the proper equipment on the cav, and uh, make sure that my strongman is as solid as ever. So anyway, I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with more attacks. Thanks for your time and I'll talk to you later.